it's not a prediction, it's not psychic, but anyways, your moon sign is a sign that makes you fake as fuck, and it makes you highly embarrassed, but it makes you very recognized to be someone to um, take the arm candy with, even though you're a Taurus anyway, so you're always armed candy, and you're always professional, and there ain't nobody gonna be embarrassed of you being around parents or whatever. You can be in family camp togethers and always have like a relationship. Mm-hmm. You'll always bring a date to your all your holidays and stuff because you're that bit kick ass, right? I'm not bitch. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're relational. But um, this will mean your mom is fake and she just treats you like an an object, and that she balanced everything out or whatever. And like um, she's like made sure that you did your homework right. You're gonna go to school on time. I gotta go. Bye. I'm like airheaded. I'm away from you. And then also your fourth house means that you gotta grow up fast. You gotta probably get your own car or something because. Your mom is like made you teach, made you grow up, and probably could have sheltered you too. Like, um, uh, to where like uh, I don't know. What do you think it is? It's nasal thing. Fuck. I have no idea. Okay. Um, it's cool with me. I don't know. Maybe. It's- I don't know. You're saying it. I heard you say it. Mm-hmm. What'd I, you say? I don't know. You said something. I was gonna say Libra. That's right. That's what you said. That's what you said. You got Libra Moon. Okay, really? you got Libra Moon. Yeah, that's actually my favorite. I play, I named my gu- bike guitar after Libra Moon. Okay, sweetheart. It's like I feel people's vibes and shit, and sometimes I get in tune with their moon signs, and like I say it right away sometimes, and it's really fun. And I look it up, and it's actually correct some, most of the time. Moon signs easier. Okay. They have the most intoxicating, beautiful vibes, and makes people feel so pretty, right? They does, like, just to be around that. And you know how opal is? That color is so pretty. Love opal. My dad bought me opal earrings for Christmas. Uh-huh. Also, your rising sign, what do you think your rising sign is? That's how you uh, react to people right away, and that's how people are going to be introduced to you right away. That's how you come off as right away, but not, like, just, like, right away at how you act. I want to say I'm a Taurus, like, all the way around. Yeah, this is so Venus all the way around because you're actually uh, Britney Spears rising. She has this rising sign. Britney Spears is such Aries and she's moon cool Aquarius, but she's got this rising sign that makes her a face of beauty, which is you got Libra rising. Really? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it means you're a douchebag hypocrite. <laughs> but you're a Taurus, so that knowledge would be like not so superficially absorbed too much maybe i don't know but it makes your 10th house the way you're going to be remembered a beautiful mother in cancer sign. so when you're at work everyone's like mama <laughs> mama mm-hmm. you should be the manager and all that crap but they're like no mama i want you to be in the children's table with us because you're teaching all us how to do whatever and you can't go on a higher bank rate because we're mad and jealous about it but anyways guess what your Saturn is in Taurus. This means your father spoiled you and he was in control of your money, but if you didn't follow his rules about his money, he's going to be a dick about it and take it all away from you. And also, you could own your own business with this. You could own your own store and shop and shit with Saturn and Taurus. It will give you the gift of that if you're doing honest jobs work, but it could take it away from you, make you homeless and not have any food and shit. You're going to have to learn a lesson because you were a dumb dick about it, Taurus brat. Mm-hmm. But, um, you're, you you seem sh- like you shits together, and I don't think that you're an ignorant motherfucking fool <laughs> at no, all. I think I think you're still going on. It, this will have you learn. And plus, Saturn and Taurus means that since your sun sign is in Taurus, that's your ego. It's crumbling your ego, so you have to be a humble dumb bitch or have a healthy ass ego. But it could go like you could have an ego just little spurts like everyone else does because that's fun, mm-hmm. and people can just be mad about it all they want. But like, it's going to teach you how to have a healthier ego. You're not allowed to have it like oh, but. It gives you the gift. It can give you the gift of a lot of bullshit things. But, yep. Yeah, and that's cool. And your Venus is in Taurus, too. So you're looking for other people in a relationship. They should be financial security. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. <laughs> so you're, like, it's at home with itself. That Venus is not activating any other sign but Taurus. Okay. And your Mars is how your sexual expression is. And it's how you get mad at people. Mm-hmm. Your Mars is in Gemini. So what you say is freaking and you trap people. You trap people in the conversation. You you won't let them go. And I trap people in the conversation. Yeah, with your words, they're like, I can't leave now because you just said something, and I have got to. I'm trapped in this. Yeah. Social, freaking net net. 
Uh-huh. Because this bitch is a Mars and Gemini, and <laughs> I'm calling the police. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a library, so you can't say anything to me, bitch. <laughs> or you can give me the silent narcissist treatment because your Mars is actually in the eighth house. Oh my god. Your, oh my god. Your eighth house is filled with a lot of shit. Your sun signs in the eighth house, too. Sun and Taurus. Shining in the eighth house. Let's see what your eighth house is, because this is your death house. Okay. You're, you're, your Mars is in your 8th house, so um, you could be a very jealous, obsessive, controlling yes, maniac mm-hmm. bitch. And yeah. when you get mad, you're violent as fuck. But, all, but you know what's really going to be cool about you? Because you're already being a beauty, 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 beauty. I'm calling the police. You're going to eat the apple. That's poison. Um, yeah. Okay, so your 8th house is Taurus. Good for you, because poison. once you're done with all your Saturn bullshit, no matter what, when you die, you're going to be financially secure. You'll have your coffin. You'll have everything. You'll have all the roses, and everyone's going to remember you as being beautiful when you're dead. So you're not going to look like an ugly, fucked up. Yeah. Even if you were burnt like Freddy Cougar in a house or something, you're still going to be beautiful. Eighth house tours and financially secure. And you're going to die of a happy little old age. So, so what? Probably going to be because of Drake, because he's going to be making a lot of money doing it. Yeah. Thanks, Drake. I love you. <laughs> You're gonna die an old, beautiful lady. <laughs> I better. So you'll never have to worry about being ugly, old lady. You're gonna be a beautiful lady. Thanks. You're mad about it. I'm mad about it. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, your ten- yeah, your your Pluto's in Sagittarius. So when you isolate yourself, you like to learn things and go on adventures and expand your knowledge. And you're very good at studying your shit. Plus, Tauruses are always good at school. So. That's. What is it, you psycho-minded <laughs> person? I. <laughs> I never applied myself to school. But I you're just learning. naturally smart of it? <laughs> no. I actually had to take two summer school classes um, two separate times. I had actually lived in a hotel with my dad for a while because I had to Sat- go to summer school. Saturn and uh, Taurus live in a motel because your dad, financial security problems, learning that through your dad. Mm-hmm. Cool, huh? Yeah. So you'll know what it's like and it humbles you, okay? Or something like that because. It's your freaking ego, brothers and sisters. My ego's not that big. It's just... <laughs> no doubt, it's not supposed to be. <laughs> not anymore. Yes, it goes up or down. Right, so that's a good amount of healthy ego. It's good, because I ain't no bitch. <laughs> your, your 11th house is Leo. That's when you are... Everyone revolves around you, because why wouldn't they want to anyway? So I'm glad that you're not some piece of shit that people are just revolve around because they have to. I think it's because they want to. <laughs> you I'm, could, a cool, I'm a cool person. You could be a king and the friendship field and mm-hmm. uh, social media. Your 12th house is Virgo. That's your soul. So you're like the player to inside that. You're like, I'm very practical in this psychedelic Alice in the Wonderland world and analyze it about my soul or something. I don't know, turn into project. I don't know mm. what you would do in there. You came here to be cancer. You came here to have babies. You came here to have families. You came here to have a fourth house nourishment. Okay, in your fourth house Capricorn, which means you probably had to buy your own car and you had to grow up faster than other kids um, at home. You would tear everything up just to remodel it, rebuild it, because you're a psycho. At home, you're more stressed at, out at home working than you are in the, <laughs> in the career or something. You're just like everyone's mom, though, at the same time. Does that make sense for you? It does. Okay, I'm just exaggerating. It could like, be. I understand, but I could be manipulative when I was little, but I wasn't that person that tore everything up just to put it back together. I tore it up and then did more stuff with it. <laughs> right, Not to rebuild put it. it. Back together. Mm-hmm. I didn't put it back together. I just tore shit up and then didn't put it back together. I just left it flying around. <laughs> I was a bitch. <laughs> well, Angelica, no. your Jupiter's in Taurus, so you'll be lucky with all that financial security stuff and beauty and all this good shit and stability. And I don't really know, whatever Taurus rules like business thing. Do you own your own business yet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're like I don't. Mm-hmm. You just own a man. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Your Uranus is in Aquarius. Your Neptune's in Aquarius. So I'm not a douchebag in that area of okay. being on camera and stuff. And that means, um, see, that's why it's like cool. Like, if you were on stage to do things, you would probably be good at it, maybe. I don't know, or you don't like being told what to do. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I mean, okay. There's different parts to that because when I don't know, ooh, oops. 
when I don't know what to do, it's good being told and like given ex like exact directions of what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. But when you tell me like wash the fucking dishes, I don't want to wash the dishes now mm -hmm. because you just told me to do it. Right. Oh, that's because your fifth, your sixth house is Pisces, so it's a polarity of your soul. It's the, your daily routine, so you're like a Pisces every day. You're like in the stream world. <laughs> awesome. And you're super sweet. Oh, good. And you're just the opposite of routine, like fuck that. <laughs> Pisces. Maybe. Your Lilith is a Capricorn too. You're going to be proud of your reputation. You're going to be proud that when you're, you make every, everyone else's reputation good when they're seen around you in real life. Mm -hmm. Bitch. <laughs> I mean, and that's cool. You get to be. I'm not a bad person to be around. Like at work, if you if you if if you were if you were someone's recommendation, like if someone be like, I need recommendations, like or whatever, they have to call you and you make their reputation look really good. Mm -hmm. They're gonna rely on you for that. So, do that and just make everyone with their reputation act like they're cool because they're they're cool with you. If you're cool with them, they're cool with you. I'm cool with a lot of people, but a lot of people don't like me at places of work because... Yeah, they don't because they envy you and you were bound to do it and you're proud of it anyways because you're getting things done that way. Mm -hmm. And they're still just jealous of the bitch. No. <laughs> My men are just hated me. In the third house. Right. A Sagittarius. So you have to travel everywhere with... Um, I don't know. Do you... Are you even... Do you like write stories or nothing? Or what do you do with your hands? I don't know. What do I do with my hands? Um, and your lungs, a third house, and just talking, communicating is like philosophy that changes. I do write sometimes. I have a diary. I have things I like. I like to write my feelings down sometimes. Good. Your Lilith is in the third house. <laughs> I like just for like my future. If I get like dementia or something, I want to be able to kind of remember yeah. my <laughs> like my days as a teenager. This means uh, uh, this might mean you might have dementia. Not really. If you have any. No, my memory sucks. Mercury is My in, memory is shit. Well, that's... Okay, your Mercury's in... Okay, your Mercury's in Gemini, and it's actually in the eighth house, too, of death, so... Be careful, don't smoke ever, because it's bad for your lungs. Eighth house. I don't... I used to smoke weed. I don't anymore. Um, I vaped a little bit. I don't anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't smoke cigarettes. Good. Smoke nothing. But anyways, mm -hmm. who knows how that is going to happen, but... Uh, you have... Mercury Gemini. Okay, you can only have Mercury Taurus, Mercury Gemini, Mercury Cancer. No, wait. Mercury Taurus, Gemini, or Aries. You can only have those three Mercuries, but you have Mercury Gemini. Gemini and Virgo both rule Mercury. So this means you're slower at talking because um, it's at home with itself, and it means it's going to say talk. It'll think before it speaks, and it'll talk at the right time. Like, you won't, like talk over me like I'm doing you, because I'm like, Gemini Cuscans rising, and I just say things without thinking. The rising sun is ruled by Aries. It's the thing that doesn't think, and it's fast. Yours is Libra, and that's a polarity of it. So when you can, when you want to come off as someone who doesn't like people who are, like, loud and cussing and obnoxious, you know, you know and does things without I'm thinking. Both. You're, <laughs> yeah, you're pretty much everything. Yeah, because your seventh house is your shadow self, and it would be secretly, you would be like that. But you see other areas, like, different from you. Like, they're so dumb-minded and stuff, and what do you think about that Aries crap? <laughs> like, you think, you don't, which sign do you not like the most that you know of, or you just pretty much like everyone because everyone likes you, but which one do you like, think you're like, oh. I don't like Gemini's. <laughs> I mean, no one likes Gemini's, <laughs> but, like, I don't like Gemini's because my friend, actually, I had, yeah. I had an experience with her, she was a Gemini. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, I think it was 11th grade, we had um, confronted her about her lying about something. She was catfishing this guy. And All two are liars. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, just tell us the truth. Like, did you do this? And she was like, no, on my mom's grave, I didn't. And she fucking did. And, like, the next day, we had to, like, we confronted her about it again because, I mean, I'm fucking smart. I figured it out what yeah. she was doing. Because, like, she was telling this guy that, um, that she, she was pre pretending to be this girl. <laughs> she was pretending to be this girl, and she was talking to a guy who was transferring to school. And she asked us how to spell counselor. And she was telling him she was at the counselor's office. And then he told us that he, she told her. How do you spell counselor? <laughs> yeah, that she was, at, she was gonna be at the it counselor's office. Ask. So he I went there to like it. see her. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, didn't Lauren ask us how to spell counselor this morning? I was like, that's obviously fucking her. Like she's lying to us. So I was like, dumb bitch, we're done with you. Like, don't ever fucking talk to me again. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> no, like she like swore her mom's grave, lied to us multiple mm -hmm. times. And I was like, mm -hmm. I. Right. Like, how, like, why would you do that? Like, why couldn't you tell your two best friends what you were doing? Mm -hmm. Like, how do you expect us to, like, be friends with you and, like, want to support you and, like, be there for you? And you just continue to lie to us. Like, she lies about the littlest things, too, and still does. <laughs> and, like, one of my best friends that I got close to, 
Um, we actually just moved in with each other. Um, she's a Gemini, and she lied about the littlest fucking things. And I eventually had to kick her out after two months because she quit her job after four days after signing the lease. She quit her job, and she didn't have any money to pay rent, the utilities, or anything. So I eventually had to kick her out. Yeah? I just don't like Gemini's. <laughs> they lie about everything. Dirty. And let's go. <laughs>